Excel's text-to-speech feature allows you to select a range of cells here and Excel will read those back to you. Make sure you have speakers hooked up to your computer so you can hear the voice reading it back to you. And I think it's Thelma or Susie. In any case, it's some female voice that will read them back. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, if I have a sheet of paper here on my desk that has a bunch of numbers that I would like to compare against the numbers on my worksheet here, then instead of looking up here on the screen, then down on my sheet of paper on my desk, and then back up, and then down, then back up, which could be very dizzying, I can go ahead and have Excel read the selected range back to me, and then I can just keep my eyes on the sheet of paper. Now, by default, the feature isn't installed anywhere on the ribbon, so I have to customize the Quick Access Toolbar and add the Speak Cells tool to do that. Go ahead and right-click anywhere on the Quick Access Toolbar. Go down to Customize the Quick Access Toolbar. Click on the drop-down arrow from Popular Commands to All Commands, and then it's alphabetized. Well, first starting with the numbers in ascending order. Click and drag all the way down to the S's, and I'm looking for Speak Cells. Double-click on it to add it over here to the Quick Access Toolbar. Of course, if I want to stop in the middle of Excel speaking the cells cell by cell, I may want the Stop Speaking Cells, double-click and add it. Of course, you have a few other options. You can have Excel speak your cells by columns from one column to the next or row by row. Or the other feature is have Excel speak cells when you hit the Enter key, it looks like. In any case, let's keep it to the basics here. Click OK. I've got my range selected. When I'm ready, come up here on the Quick Access Toolbar, click on Speak Cells, and there goes Susie. She starts read. She's well reading it. It's hard to focus here, but I'll let you listen in. Well, that was fun. If I want to go ahead and stop, just click on the Stop button, and you can see she was reading it from left to right. First the top row, then the next row, and then the next row, and then when she's finished, she'll automatically stop. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.